Hello, everybody. So now is the start of the wonderful 10 piece project based off of color schemes. Um, this one is cool colors. And if you don't know, I, surprisingly, I, I feel like most people should know this because you learn this in middle school or whatever, one of the earlier art classes, but that's not always the case. So, for those who don't know, your cool colors are your blues, greens, and purples. And so, when we started this project, as long as we we were told we could do anything we wanted for it, as long as it was still the color schemes. So, when I thought of cool colors, I started thinking about my character Felix. Like, a lot of these color schemes, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do pieces based off of characters I have. And so for cool colors, obviously I thought of Felix because he's blue and purple and he's got like a little bit of a sea foam and the little bit of fur he has. So I knew I wanted to make a ice scene um, because Felix is a ice dragon. He, his kind, his breed of dragon lives in the far, far north where there's lots of blizzards and stuff, you know, so they're hidden underneath the snow. So I knew that I wanted to do an ice scene with him and I had trouble kind of because I had did the background first um, which I didn't record because I had done it in my class and so I did the background and it was very very watery like I asked a couple of my classmates what they thought it was and a lot of them were like oh that's a house on the water. Um, I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> it's supposed to be snow. The house part was right though. So I was very glad that I got that right, but it was very watery according to them. And I tried to make it look more snow and I know placing Felix onto it definitely made it clear that it was snow, not water. He cannot just walk on water. He's not Jesus. Okay. He's, he's just a dragon. He's just a ice dragon i had a lot of fun painting him i don't paint like paint was not my main type of art most of my art as you can see from my channel is mostly digital art and even before then it was mostly just pencils and ink pens and maybe color pencils like i didn't do much in the paint area but i took a painting class and this class we had paints so I decided to paint him and I actually thought he came out really well. I actually blended pretty nicely. So cause that's always my problem about paint. I can't blend it because the paint I have is acrylic. So it dries pretty fast, especially now because it's winter. So it just, it dries really fast. I tried to outline him with a thin sharpie, like a thin point sharpie that was light blue so that he had a little bit of outline on him and he wouldn't just blend into the background. But sadly, according to some people, he looked like he kind of blended into the background, which was it didn't bother me very much because of the fact that his kind, his dragon kind is supposed to be blending into the background. They're supposed to be hiding in the snow. I ended up doing this for the rest of the projects where I did the background separate from the character and then I added the character in. So I didn't do all of them with painting uh, as you'll see but most of them are done with paint like Felix here. But yeah most of them were pasted on with this disgusting smelling rubber cement. If you have never smelled rubber cement it is awful. It, is, it gives me a headache when I use it. So I don't like using it, but at the same time, I do like using it because it pastes the whatever picture you have really well. Like it sticks there and it will not move if, unless you want to like rip up the paper you pasted it on. Like there is no way of moving it.
I wanted to see if I could make him more 3D here, um, so I kind of wanted to prop him up. And I also wanted to make sure the snow that I cut out with him kind of blended into the snow that was already there, so I tried to do that. There's that rubber cement right there. I did dry mounting, so you have to wait till both sides are dry. Like you, you have to, you put the rubber cement on and then you make sure both the uh, parts are dry before sticking them on. And there we go, that's my piece. This should eventually be up as prints and such on my Redbubble and as Society6 shop. And the original will be sold on my store Envy once I get it up. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.